Today, we're getting back to the basics. So lately, I've been showing you a lot of my favorite um, like hacks and hidden maybe secrets about um, ways that you can make Trello even more powerful. I realized though that there's one thing that we haven't covered yet on this channel that is actually um, the place where I feel like most people get stuck and that's right at the beginning. Hi, I'm Kelly, your tech savvy business mentor. And today I wanna to show you exactly how I prepare to create a new board in Trello. So stick around. Okay, so bear with me here because this part of the process, I don't typically actually write down. Uh, this is something I usually do in my head, but in order to kind of explain this and make this a little bit easier for someone else to track with, I'm gonna attempt for the first time using Zoom whiteboards to uh, visualize it for you. So bear with me on that. Um, but these are kind of the four main questions that I ask myself when I'm planning out a new Trello board. So the most important thing you need to know is what are you planning to track with this board? I'm gonna use the example of my business schedule freedom formula and the habit tracker so that you have an opportunity to have already seen a little bit about how these boards work, but now understand the process I went through in order to get there. Okay. So the business schedule freedom formula, what I'm tracking in this is, um, my time. Okay. That's, that's primarily what I'm tracking. Um, I'm also tracking my to do list. So, um, these are the things that need to get done. Um, also the things that I do regularly. So recurring tasks. Okay. Um, and then I also want to be tracking because I'm, if we're thinking about habit tracking, I also want to be tracking my, um, historical, uh, consistency, I guess is, is probably the best way to put that, right? That's what the habit tracker is doing. It's showing me, um, if I am consistently doing the things that I say matter to me, right? Um, so let's go, we'll, we'll start from there. I may think of a couple of other things in the future, but, um, then the next thing that we want to do is think about, okay, is this thing that I'm thinking about putting on the board, is this something that should be an entire list or is this something that should be, um, a card? Okay. So things that should be a list are the things that are like categories, right? So, um, for example, in this instance, we have things like um, like the one-off tasks or what I call my hot list, right? Um, we also have daily tasks. We have weekly tasks. And we have monthly tasks. And we could go even further and further with this, right? But these are the high-level categories of what I'm tracking, right? Now, in this case, I don't particularly have um, repetitive cards because, and, and by repetitive cards, I mean where I'm going to need to create a copy of the same card over and over again. So my YouTube content planning board is probably one of the best examples of this. So when it comes to creating a YouTube video, obviously the content is different for each video. And so I need to, um, type up a different description and I need to come up with different main points and things like that. However, the steps, the tasks that I do for each video are relatively the same, right? So in that case, I would consider that a recurring task. And that's when I would create a card that is a template. So let's open up this template. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So in this templated card, we have the name of the card, which you can see I have made um, kind of a template name where I'm saying, hey, this is the type of video and this is the topic so that I can customize that each time I uh, use this card template for a new video. And then this is the format that I'm going to use for my YouTube video description. I also have a couple of checklists. 
So I have this checklist, which is all about um, like the main points that I want to make in that video, as well as if I'm doing a recap, if it's, um, for example, a, a review of a new tool or something like that, or a process that I'm explaining. And then I have my to-do list. So these are all the things that I do for every video. So in that case, I can go ahead and use a templated card and save me the time of recreating, retyping out all of this every single time. Make sense? However, in the case of um, what we're talking about here, this uh, to-do list and habit tracker, I don't really have templates that I need for this type of board. So instead, we're gonna repurpose this little section here. What cards do I need? And this is all about um, like the specific tasks. So we're talking here about the to-do list. That's more likely to be something that I create over time right? As a new task pops up on my list, um, those things, they're, they're going to be, they're going to change over time. But the recurring tasks, those, I already know what they are in advance, right? And so those are the kinds of things that I can start my board with those cards. So for example, for me, I do uh, fresh pins for Pinterest. I do five repins. I have a morning routine that I do on a regular basis. I also have some things that are a little bit um, less frequent, but things that I do like write my weekly newsletter, create my YouTube video, as well as, for example, um, edit podcast episode. Okay, so these are just a handful. Obviously, I could do a whole lot more. So now that we've come up with a couple of these ideas of things that need to be done. Now we're going to organize them in a little bit different way. We're going to categorize them where they belong based on the frequency of how we do them. So I'm going to actually pull these out now. So now we've got our daily tasks, weekly tasks, and monthly tasks. Now keeping in mind, these are the lists that we're going to create, right? So um, I do fresh pins every day. So that's going to go there my morning routine also every day. My five repins are every other day, but because it's more frequent than weekly, I still put that on my daily tasks list. But again, there is no right or wrong way to do this. So this is just how my brain works. You can do this however it makes the most sense to you, okay? Um, obviously, weekly newsletter implies that I do that weekly. I do my YouTube video weekly as well as edit a podcast episode weekly. Now, I'm also going to, I'm gonna pull out a couple of things that I do here that um, I do on a monthly basis. So um, I also uh, back up my website on a monthly basis. I also, I balance my uh, business budget on a monthly basis as well as I also reconcile my uh, CRM, okay? These are just things that I do. But so now you can start to get an idea of the daily tasks, weekly tasks, monthly tasks. This is what our lists are gonna start to look like, okay? Once we've figured out what all of these tasks are, then the next thing I really wanna think about is what can I automate here? So I can certainly automate the reminders, okay? Um, it's very simple to go into the system and have it reset a particular due date based on um, when I mark it complete and what the frequency is, right, based on what list it's on. Also, in this case, one of the things that I'm tracking is historical consistency. I don't want that consistency or that habit tracking to get in the way and clutter up my main board where I actually go to see what I need to do today or this morning or this evening. So that I put onto a second board, but that I can also automate. And if you haven't already seen my video on habit tracking and how I am using Trello to automate my habit tracking, definitely check out that video um, so that you can see that kind of activity in action, okay? So now that I've got my basics, um, this is where I'm gonna take this idea and I'm gonna turn it into a Trello board. 
So if you've been around here before, you know that I can change the way that this all looks and all of that. I can change the background um, and make it something that's a little bit more what I like or just pick a color or whatever it might be. Um, but we're just going to leave it as is for right now, just so, so that I can show you how this translates. So um, you can see we have one list here that I did not move off to the side. And like I said before, this is the type of list that um, isn't really going to have any cards on it right away. Uh, because it's going to change out week to week as new one-off tasks or hot list items uh, come up and, and become something that I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create my, I'm just going to call it the hot list, which is what I like to call it. And then I'm going to create my daily tasks board, my weekly tasks, and my monthly tasks. Okay. And now that I've got all these lists, here's where I'm gonna to start to create these cards that I've already indicated uh, where they're gonna go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click add a card. And I'm gonna put fresh pins on this one. And then this one, I'm gonna put morning routine. And on this one, five repins. For the next one, I'm gonna do my weekly newsletter, YouTube. Oops video and podcast episode. And then as far as the monthly tasks, let's go ahead and add those as well. So backup website, balance, business budget, and reconcile CRM. So now you can see how we've taken this and turned it into this, our brand new Trello board. Now, I'm not going to take the time to show all the next things that I would do as far as how to create the automations and all that kind of stuff. But that's how I overcome that uh, overwhelming feeling of the blank screen, that blank Trello board, and turn it into something that's going to help me manage my time and help me make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. So like I said, there's no right or wrong way to approach creating a new Trello board, but a couple of things that are going to make your life a lot easier if you think about them in advance, whether you write it out or you just do it in your head, is to understand what am I tracking? Is this a list? What cards do I need? And what can I automate? And if you liked this video, please take a minute to like and subscribe. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.